Most programs that teach vocabulary tell the meanings of words as a first step, but learning the context for words usually takes a lot more time and requires students to be avid readers. In vocabulary uses a new approach called semantic reasoning, so students learn word meanings more deeply while improving their critical thinking as well. Students are climbing up mountains, engaging in three types of activities along the way. Base camp, ascents, and expedition. For each activity, students are given a certain number of carabiners. Those are the tools that keep mountain climbers safe while they climb. Students earn between one and three stars for each activity type. If the carabiners run out, students must repeat that segment before moving on. They always have the option to redo a segment if they desire to earn more stars. Now, let's take a look at base camp. This is where students deeply learn the meanings of words and the various contexts they can be associated with. They figure out the meanings of words by using inductive and deductive reasoning. They hear and see words exposed and look for the common thread among the images and use clues within the captions to guide their thinking and help them formulate their own definitions for words. When the paper ripped, the page behind it was made visible, made visible. We waited a long time, but finally we can see the baby chick. Finally we can see it. We don't usually get to see what's behind a wall, but since it was cut open, we can now view the wires. Can now view. She didn't know what was in the present, but now it can be seen. Now it can be seen. The bear is spreading his lips so that his teeth can be seen. Can be seen. Hmm. Most tree roots are hidden under the ground, but those are not. Most are hidden, but those are not. Teachers also have the ability, and students as well, to show all the captions in case they want to search for the words and phrases. Then, I'm just going to go ahead and turn all the audio off to save us some time, but uh, students then build the definition, and then they're given three choices, describes, and then I'm given the entire definition. Ascent is where students must find the common thread among four images and choose the one word out of four that best goes with all four images. Again, the captions contain clues that help scaffold student understanding. When I choose the right word, I'm shown the definition. And if students want to use the metacognitive strategy of hiding the wrong answers, they can do so. Expedition is where students apply their understanding of words by choosing two words that go together the best, synonyms or related words. So here, I'm trying to find the two words that are related, frail and fragile. If I want to hear the words read aloud to me, each of the boxes has an audio button. Let's see here. Barely any and scarce. Mischievous and wicked prominent and striking, and there will always be one that is left over. Once students complete all of their base camps and ascents and expeditions, and if they want to complete uh, all of their stars, they reach the top, they summit, and they get a new mountain and continue with more words. Mm -hmm.